The next song to be released is called Huh? <laughs> Your heart, I think. Hit, uh, hit something, something. Uh, I don't know. I, it's in the music video, heart but it's not in the discography. Uh, I think yeah. it's hit your heart, hit your ha, hit, hit your huna, hyona, hyona, your hyona. Um, I don't know. But anyway, hyona, you hyona. So ha, huh, I think is a very interesting mm. because you know we were listening to it, we were listening to it, and and you were like, man, this song sounds very, very similar. To Hyona's solo song "Change," yeah, that's and right. it does sound very similar to Hyona's "Change." And we were like, "Man, what are the dates? Like, what were you know? What's the dates yeah, on we this? Like, which up. one came first? Which one came second? And Hyona's "Change" actually released first in January. In January, yeah. and uh, this song released, I think, a couple months later. I think in May, in May or June yeah. or something like that. So, and, literally, just less than half a year. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think it, it's. I think it's very, and I think this is very telling for Four Minute in general, which was like because. Hyona's Change did very well. Mm. I mean, uh, Four Minutes Past Stuff also did very well. Yeah. But I think they saw... This is total speculation. But I think they saw the direction that Hyona's Change was going. And mm. they were like, no, we're going to take this direction. And we're going to use it for, for Four Minutes. Mm. Because there's a very distinct like, like uh, change from like pre-change era yeah. and after change era yeah. in the Shinsodan Tiger. I think maybe like Cube, they kind of had this idea that they were going to have Hyuna do some like solo work on the side. And change, I think, probably surprised them about how successful that was. And they thought, oh, you know, this this sound and this concept, it, it works. It works. So yeah. let's try the, the same sound, the same concept with the group instead of just Hyuna. And I think this is kind of like a turning point for a more kind of four minute that we are more familiar with. Yeah, more fierce kind of four yeah. minute and not a dance poppy kind of four yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, like this song also kind of shed a lot of the autotune mm -hmm. that was being used. Mm -hmm. um, they started to dress more sexy, yeah. right? With the Especially coveralls. Yona. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they somehow made coveralls kind of sexy. Hey, I have always thought coveralls were sexy when they unzip it until like the stomach. Like, mm. Yeah, especially yes. when it's like an old hairy dude. Oh, the best. Yeah, big ass belly. You're like, oh. The best. Like the chest hair. The oh, best. Yeah, the best. The puberty pubes. Oh, the chest pubes. No, yeah. Um Luckily, for a minute, it has no yeah. chest pubes. Oh. Um, but yeah, I think it's definitely like... Um, when you go back and you kind of listen to like the rap in this song specifically, oh it my is God. such like a, of that time oh, rap. Oh, it's so bad. It's so cringy. It's so bad. Oh. So out of nowhere on this song. But, oh. you know, for the time, right? For the time, it was probably like, ooh. They, 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 like, it's probably like Yas. Yeah, slay probably yeah, the, the five-year-old version of Yas. Um, whatever that was. Oh, God. Um, but I, I mean, I really think that they found something that they could work with after experimenting a lot 
Yeah. And this kind of was the first song out of the 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 Shin Sadong era. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, again, we asked some of our Patreon jingas, and uh, this song, Huh, was actually a lot of people's favorite. Yeah. Um, M Baby Blue says that Huh was my favorite to me uh, because I loved the dance and the video. It was very powerful while still sexy. Mm hmm. Um, Princess of Mind, he or she says, I probably think she, uh, says, Huh is by far my favorite form of the song. It's so catchy and just sucks me in every time. Mm hmm. And, uh, Ferric? Ferric? Ferric 5? Yeah. Ferric 5 says, uh, Huh, this one's my favorite, sexy and catchy. The Grease Monkey coveralls are definitely a factor. Yeah. So a lot of people, I think, uh, mm -hmm. you know, discover, not maybe not discover, but this was like the shining, Kind yeah. of light in in the yeah. four minute era, which which is kind of uh, interesting to me because I think Huh as a whole um, in Korea didn't chart like super high, but it's a lot of people at least our chingus uh, say this is the song. Well, for them. it was three, three. I, I mean, mean, back then was you know. I mean, yeah, but but I mean, it, I think it, I mean it sold a lot. It was the yeah. highest selling. I mean, granted, this was even compared to other you know uh, things like I I think. I think you don't think it did very well because you didn't like it very much. Mm. But I think for a lot of people, uh, like this was the defining uh, four minute song. I, mm. I really do think. Yeah. Um, because they spent a lot of time kind of trying to mm. make, like, try to get that, huh, like back again. Yeah. Um, but, but this was also kind of the era where, like, I kind of started tuning out for mm. four minute or K-pop in general. Yeah. Um, so like the next couple of songs that were released, uh, we're not going to talk in depth, but no. um, the next song was I, My, Me, Mine. Oh gosh, that's which hard to say. I don't think I ever heard before this. No, I haven't. Um, or, or maybe I heard like randomly, like a little bit yeah. of the backing track somewhere. Um, but I do want to say that uh, Steph mm -hmm. uh, chose I, My, I, My, Me, Mine as her favorite a four minute song. Uh, she loves the beat and it gives a lot of energy to work with. Uh, it has a bunch of random English that I can sing to, which, as Stevie you know, can, I love. Yeah, Stevie can relate. Um, the music video has great outfits too. They look really great. And it's a look that very few girls go with. Uh, they all look distinct, tough, powerful. Woman concept is great. Hmm, interesting. Um, but I have absolutely no recollection. I I just listened to this like two, yeah. two times or three times today. Zero recollection. I, I probably have heard the song or have seen the music video, probably both, but it's just not, yeah, not, not stuck in my mind. Yeah. Um, the same goes for the, the rest. Like the, the next one's Heart to Heart, mm -hmm. Mirror Mirror, Volume Up. Yeah. Like I kind of remember little bits of Heart to Heart, a little bit of Volume Up, but uh, I really, they were never songs that I, I really listened to. That's funny because out of these, the, the three that we just mentioned, Heart to Heart, Mirror, Mirror, Volume Up, I remember Volume Up and Mirror, Mirror the best out of the three. Mm. I think Mirror, Mirror actually was was pretty popular. Yeah, no, I mean, they were all yeah, pretty yeah, popular. Yeah. Like Mirror, Mirror did really well. Volume Up got number two. Mirror, mm. Mirror got number two. two like, Heart to Heart number five. Yeah, like uh -huh. they, they were they were pretty big. I, I just, just, they're not my us, type yeah. of song, I think. Um, yeah. I, I don't. Even listening to them again, I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just not my thing. Yeah. Um, and, and I, you know, even the earlier four minute stuff is not really my thing nowadays, right? But yeah. at least at the at time, time, I have that nostalgia that I can really lean yeah. into. Um, and again, this was a period where I just wasn't really into it. So yeah. maybe, you know, it's one of your favorites. Maybe Volume Up is one of your favorites. Mirror Mirror is one of your favorites. Just yeah. for us, for our retrospective, I just, eh. It's just not, yeah. Yeah, uh, but that is kind of the end of the Shinzadong Tiger era. Mm -hmm. It ended with volume up. Yeah. Uh, but before we move into the Brave Sound era, I do want to say thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. Yep, yep. Um, again, we 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 love it's it's been over two months now since we yeah. started asking for some money. Yeah. Um, but uh, if you want to help us out, you can be on our Slack channel. We can ask you questions. Mm -hmm. You can be in our podcast. Yeah. You know, you go to patreoncom slash Yeah. Um, but, uh, I also want to give a, a shout out to some specific people. Yeah. People that donated $10 or more last month. Yeah. Um, and, uh, Josh, why don't you read these names? You know, cause I talk a lot. Yeah, but that's the good thing. All right. So, uh, so these Patreon supporters, uh, $10 or more, uh, Kenneth R, Derek M, Joanne J, Justin B, D, Crystal R. Yes. Thank you for all your support. Uh, we, appreciate every single one of you it doesn't matter if you donate a dollar doesn't matter if you donate 10 25 really we just thank you just for listening 
Um, because oh, there's probably two names that I'm oh, forgetting no. because they donated on pay- on PayPal mm, and I didn't check because I'm PayPal. an idiot. Um, but I'll well, I'll give you guys make sure I give you guys we'll give you some proppy props in the next after show. show. I, I do remember that because we were talking about it earlier. Yeah. Um, Sometimes but, I forget to check both things. Yeah, um, but I mean, we really appreciate you just listening and just I mean, leaving feedback or reviews, things like that, because. Uh, we do this so we have people to talk to K-pop. That's not mm-hmm. this guy or this guy. All right. I, I kind of know what Josh is going to say. Josh kind of knows what I'm going to say, right? It's boring. Yeah. We're boring, you know? Boring. We're like you an old married couple. Other. We know each other. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like, for example, recently we had, like, two or three new people come in our Slack channel. Yeah. And they 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 talk a lot. And it's really mm-hmm. great because it kind of uh, re- reinvigorates a lot of things yeah. uh, when new people come in. So yeah. uh, if you want to be in our Slack channel, you mm-hmm. know, donate $5 or more. But again, all money, uh, uh, we appreciate everybody uh, mm-hmm. uh, who, who even listens, right? Let yeah. alone donates money. Um, but uh, yeah, let's move on then.